Welcome to your daily gaming update for Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. I am your host, Joe. Sources for these updates are in the description. For our first update, Warhammer 40,000 bolt gun release times were announced. The PC, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One and Switch times are different for those platforms than the PlayStation 4 and 5 platforms. PlayStation players get to play the game earlier than those on the other platforms. For example, PlayStation players can play the game as early as 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, while those on the other platforms will need to wait until noon Eastern Standard Time to play. The game releases May 23rd for all platforms and is the same day as Season of the Deep releases on Destiny at the game's weekly reset. For our second update, Blizzard elucidates the campaign co-op progress and how it will function in Diablo 4. A level 1 build and level 30 build can play together because the game will scale the enemies appropriately for each player. The host of the party within the game owns the state of the world. If players are aligned in questline, then both players will progress. However, if the players are misaligned on the questline and, for example, the player invited is earlier in the quest line while in that hosted world for the player that has progressed later in the quest line, then that player joining will not progress. It is recommended that if a group is not committed to playing together, then it is best to have the player with the least amount of progress in the quest line to be the host. For our third update, Episode 1 of The Expanse, a Telltale series, has a firm release date of July 27th. The game will have four episodes in total that release every two weeks with a promised experience like never before. Telltale and Deckline have developed this game. Deckline developed Life is Strange True Colors. This Telltale series for The Expanse is meant to serve as a prequel to the popular sci-fi TV show featuring Kamina Drummer, as the main protagonist. For our fourth update, publishers perhaps are going to be able to offer time-limited demos in a more structured, formal way on Steam. The first game to leverage this feature is the Dead Space remake. Steam did not make an announcement for this feature, however. Players can play the Dead Space remake up to one and a half hours. Space remakes game's store page, and the 1.5 hour limit to play will begin. For our fifth update, Nicolas Cage is coming to Dead by Daylight, the horror multiplayer game, and his performance is going to be one of a lifetime, as shared on Twitter. More details on Cage's involvement will happen on July 5th this year. Cage will play as himself in the game and take on the role of a survivor. For our sixth update, Star Wars Jedi Survivor will receive another patch, at least on PC for the present time. The PC platform will receive this patch today, May 17th, while a date for console players, specifically current-gen consoles, is yet to be announced by EA. EA assures the release for the patch across current-gen consoles will happen soon enough. The patch includes a variety of fixes, including bug fixes, to improve the experience of the game overall. A PC-only fix, according to patch notes, will fix an issue where when lowering the PC visual settings, the resolution would be lowered as a result, and Fidelity Super Resolution, or FSR, would be disabled as well. A non-exclusive fix is various collision and navigation improvements, so to prevent issues where characters get stuck in out-of-bounds areas. These are just two highlights, and there are more details in the patch notes. This patch demonstrates EA's continued dedication to improving the experience of the game for players, as it has assured fans. For our seventh update, PlayStation has announced its showcase broadcast live on Wednesday, May 24th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Gaming for Insight expected this development based off its May 10th daily gaming update. This is a busy day with both this development for PlayStation Showcase and an expected NVIDIA announcement for its RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti. The PlayStation Showcase will be scoped to PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation VR 2. This showcase is not like the prior State of Plays or State of Plays in general that fans are accustomed to, as this stream is considered E3 size and will extend a little longer than an hour compared to 25 to 35 minutes. 
The showcase is expected to have news on the PlayStation and have game reveals. Some games anticipated for the showcase are as follows. Marvel's Spider-Man 2, Marvel's Wolverine, Last of Us Multiplayer, Horizon Game Multiplayer, Untitled Live Service Games from Haven Studios and Firewalk Studios, the remake of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and a new title allegedly from Deviation Games. Additional game developments for the showcase could include Taken 8, Mortal Kombat 12, Death Stranding 2, and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. For our last update, Bungie has released its Season 21 Weapon Changes preview. A substantial number of changes to hip-fire reticles, exotic weapon changes that are varying, and other modifications are coming to Season 21. The plethora of changes in the imminently massive update for next week is based on taking into account player feedback scoped to how reticles have conveyed less information at high field of view settings or FOV settings. Players are seeking mid-combat information and exotic weapon perk state information that is hard to track. The rebuild of several weapon reticles addresses these concerns for players. Well, that's it for this daily gaming update. You can look forward to a daily gaming update for Thursday, May 18th. Never miss a daily gaming update by subscribing to the channel on YouTube or selecting the follow button on your podcast service of choice. Let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.